So this is the a installation of a Mitsubishi Electric City Multi R2 VRF system with heat recovery. So this is one of the indoor units. We have the two refrigerant pipes right here. And then on this side, or on this side, same side as the drain, it's trapped up, drains away. So this is pretty much a standard 36 by 36 uh, ceiling cassette indoor unit, um, heating or cooling. It's got the optional IC sensor that detects the temperature in the room and adjusts the uh, veins appropriately. And then this room actually has two units that will be controlled together from the same thermostat. That thermostat is over here. Uh, not in operation yet. This is a larger collaboration space, so it's got two units. But it's not divisible, so we only have one thermostat. Uh, you can see these are all the refrigerant pipes that go to the various units that's connected to this system's branch controller. So the branch controllers on the other side of that wall. We'll take a look at that in a second. Um, so the branch controller determines which direction the refrigerant is going. Um, and since this is a the heat recovery system, these units can be either in heating or cooling, depending on what the room needs. Um, and that branch controller has solenoid valves, check valves, tube and tube heat exchangers, and liquid and gas uh, refrigerant separators that determine if either, uh, I believe it's subcooled liquid or superheated gas gets to the indoor unit, depending on what mode the unit's in. And then, depending on whether the system's in heating main mode or cooling main mode, you have the outdoor unit up there with the variable speed compressor, inverter driven, um, so that will perform the bulk of the heat rejection or uh, heat addition to the refrigerant. So that's up there on the roof. Yeah, overall pretty neat system. Um, seems pretty simple to use. It's pretty simple to use. Um, I haven't installed them personally, so I know there's either a lot of brazing or a lot of using the zoom lock tool, flare fittings, I think. But um, yeah, a lot of refrigerant in the system. We'll go take a look at that branch controller box now. So here's that uh, branch controller. Drain, high and low pressure to the outdoor unit on this side. And there's all of our refrigerant pipe in and out to all the various indoor units. This is what it looks like. That's really the heart of the R2 series, because that controls which direction the refrigerant goes for each indoor unit. Yeah, so this system should be up and running no later than March as part of the building. Yeah, thanks for watching. Here's what the Mitsubishi City Multi R2 series looked like. Uh, the outdoor units, two of them twin together.